Hello folks and welcome to a Christmassy Zoom meeting. Yes, these are our rambling Bowyer series where we've been forced to do them by Zoom because we can't be in the same room together because of the world coming to an end. And yeah, when I say Christmassy edition, all right, it's not actually Christmas, but poor buggers like us who have to run businesses have to be forced to sell things to you at Christmas time, which is when we make the most money, or so retail would have you believe. So yes, that's why I'm all christmas eat up, and so is Richard, because we are going to be showing you some of our lovely stuff that we've got in our Christmas gifts idea page that we've got on our website, which I'll put those details up underneath the video, so you can go there and have a look. And um, talking of Richard, Dad, where are you? I'm looking for my Christmas outfit. Hang on a second. Uh, Okay. Uh, right. Can't blooming well find it. You'll have to do without it this time. <sighs> now then, you wouldn't. What is that? You wouldn't think your hair grows so long just being unable to go to the barbers for a couple of months, would you? That's but not Christmassy. What is that? You'll have to do. It's uh, it's my new um, very Christmas Christmas wig. <laughs> <laughs> are you telling me that's a jesus wig who knows what he looked like this is good enough for me well i apologize to all our christian friends out there you might be ever so slightly insulted by the uh, jesus impersonation not at all it's a good job you didn't black up uh right yeah uh, so back to the video <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm expecting someone to come and take my car away in a minute. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Richard has to disappear. It's because the lone <laughs> car's going back because he smashed his other one. Yeah, I reversed it into a gatepost. Whose gatepost did uh, you uh, reverse it into? That was at Hector Cole's workshop. He just hasn't made his gate wide enough for a decent car to get through. For that massive car that you've got. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking of Hector Cole, and that is why we are doing this video. This year, we've got some rather special items to go in our Christmas catalogue. And uh, that is some Hector Cole knives and blades and things like that. And yeah. uh, Richard's got them there in his sweaty hands. I'll, uh, I'll hand this over to you and you can tell everyone what we've got. Right. Well, let's start with the what appear to be the simple ones, although I'm sure forging them is not simple. <laughs> Hector will appreciate that, <laughs> these simple um, ones. This one is a Celtic ring-handled knife. Ooh. A ring on the end there. And the interesting thing about this is that it's actually forged from 2,000-year-old Roman iron. Wow found um, a site in Wiltshire. I don't know what the iron was originally made into, but it's been made into a knife now. It was a cross <laughs> out of a church, wasn't it, or something? I don't know. So presumably <laughs> it was a piece of metal that was just a, a lump, of, lump of metal that wasn't of any archaeological interest. Right. And anyway, Hector has forged it uh, into a ring-handled knife. So that's... Um, a very interesting one to start off with. I will be putting close up pictures of all these on the screen. So, uh, yeah, and obviously, all these knives are available for sale below. You'll see the link down there if you want to go and have a look at these. This one is a Roman scroll handle knife. Now, why he didn't make this out of the Roman iron, I don't know, but maybe, maybe it is. He hasn't actually said it is. <laughs> Uh, it's a Roman scroll handle knife. It's got a five inch long blade uh, and it's obviously all iron and it comes with uh, a little sheath. Ooh. It goes into one way or the other that way. That's great. Up so, a bit. There we go. Hey, look at that. A nice knife. So, anyone who's uh, into Roman reenacting, this will be a nice item to have. Yeah, it is. That's uh, nice. I don't think it's very expensive. So nice, again, a nice one there. Uh, working our way up, oops, just get the essential information. Right, which is this one, which is a, I don't know how people get on with long hair. I'm getting hot. I, 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 how did Jesus manage? 
Yep. How did he manage? No idea. <laughs> it was a miracle. <laughs> Look, this is a replica. Obviously, they're all replicas. I don't know why you said replica. They're obviously replicas. He's not stolen it to the museum. It's a medieval kitchen knife. Um, cut up all those loaves and fishes. <laughs> Look, you can carve your turkey with this, can't you? Yeah. Or spear your sprouts or whatever happens at Christmas. So it's got a, a boxwood handle and it's held onto the blade with copper pins. Oh, yeah. And it was actually copied from uh, one in the Museum of London book on knives and scabbards. Oh. So it's a copy of an original that appeared in the Museum of London uh, book on knives. Yeah, as we probably ought to mention, we are assuming that everyone knows who Hector Cole is. Um, he is somebody, A, who has been doing this an awful long time. Uh, I, uh, if I knew how old he was, I'd tell you, but he's very secretive. I think he's 107. And uh, he researches all these things to the nth degree and goes to see originals and what have you and makes all the various arrowheads that we do and this is one of the other things that he does and in fact i think what he started doing wasn't it was um swords and things like that yes yes yeah yes. All swords, swords of, of all types mm. and anything connected with medieval iron work um he's done all, all sorts of all sorts of things yeah so yeah sorry if you <laughs> you had no idea who we're talking about that's who we're talking about <laughs> Uh, right, we've got the next one, which is a medieval knife, and again it comes with a leather sheath, and it's got a laminated blade, which usually means there's a hard steel in the centre, and then it's sandwiched between two softer pieces of metal. So when you sharpen it, you get the really sharp edge I from, see. The, from the hard steel that's in the right in the center that's where you see. and the handle's made from the burnham and there are copper caps on the end and oh, yeah. the fits in so again a nice medieval knife for anyone's involved in medieval reenactment and wants something that's is the part really rather than a um a reenactment thing made from rubbish metal yeah so, yeah, okay. I was going to say, these are the real thing, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, another knife, this is what is called a medieval domestic knife. Again, similar thing, nine-inch long blade here. It's got a staghorn handle, copper caps, again, and a leather sheath. So, uh, again, nice uh, medieval a uh, domestic knife, so if you're working in the kitchens or whatever. You would have that for carving up your wild boar. You could probably cut your hair with it. That's a good idea. So that's the medieval drastic knife. Uh, this is a miniature Saxon sword that he's made. Obviously, just a sort of thing you can have on your desk or whatever. It's not a. I see. Just a, a model, a model of one. If right, you like. right, yeah, I'm with you. Miniature version of the real thing, uh, but it does have a laminated blade, so as they would have been made. Uh, it's got a horn hilt and handle. You hold it back sort of towards your head, so we can get an idea of the scale. It's a bit too close to the ah, right, yeah, okay, yeah. Ah, it's quite sweet. As long as my hair is it? It's as, it's as long as Jesus' his hair. <laughs> That's the easy way of telling the size of anything. <laughs> and it's got a leather sheath with some, some decoration on it. I mean, these sheaths alone would cost a bit of money too. Yeah. Yeah, well, tool leather work isn't cheap. <laughs> no, indeed. Not at this sort of side. Look, that's that's that Jesus hair length. Oh, hang on. Right. Okay. Here we go. So <laughs> and they didn't have mirrors back then. How? What did they do? You sure? Didn't they polished copper or something, or just look in the lake? 
That's what I'd do. Yeah, but yeah, if you look in the lake, your hair bangs down like that. It's very yeah. difficult to look in a lake without it, it, you know. Look, it's a miracle. I can do it. Don't worry. But that's the miniature Saxon sword. Look, shouldn't be joking about these things. What? I don't know. Anything, really. really. <laughs> You're not allowed to. No, no. Serious. You're not allowed to joke. And the world's coming to an end. We're not allowed to go to the pub and... No. Maybe now at 10 o'clock like the old days when we used to drink 10 points in the last half an hour <laughs> before closing time and go out and be sick outside the door that was the good old days <laughs> yeah. they're, they're coming back the good old days are coming back oh black death you don't beat a touch of black death it's not it's not the last supper it's the last orders please orders. <laughs> right here's another one 12 points Oh, right, yes. Check the link. Gale, right. yeah. Well, Jesus, Gale. Ah, this is a medieval pollock dagger. Of course it is. And why is that, Richard? You can tell that because of the shape of it. <laughs> this has what do a, you mean? <laughs> this has got a laminated blade, double-edged, so both edges are sharp or can be sharpened. And this is a copy of one in the Museum of London. It's got a boxwood handle and brass caps, there's brass there, and the cap on the end. Let me show the handle a bit better. Oh, yeah. Little shaped cap on the end. Yeah. And obviously comes with its leather sheath. So, medieval bollock dagger. I'd just like to point out, if the bots from YouTube are watching, uh, bollock dagger isn't rude. We're allowed to say bollock. He's actually spelt it as ballock dagger. I'm not sure whether there are two ways of saying it, but that's yeah. it. He's, get, he's getting on a bit, though, isn't he? Weird, isn't it it might just be his eyes. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> I think Hector knew Jesus. <laughs> this is a Saxon sea axe. He made the nails for the true cross. No, that's what he's making these knives out of. Right, this one is a Saxon sea axe. Uh, six inch, again, laminated blade, staghorn handle, brass caps on the end. The spider just coming into shot. Yeah. Can you see that? I can, yeah. Can you go away, please? Oh, goodness knows what's been living in this blooming hair I've got on. In fact, we found it in a box we were looking through. So I don't know. <laughs> I should put the spider down. To shake the mice out of it. Yeah, I, I dread to think that. I, I'd wash yourself after that. A little bit. It's probably... One of the anyway. government guidelines, isn't it? Wash hands and hair. Look, the length of this one... Probably, oh, it's a bit short. Yeah, it is, isn't it? That's not a full JC. Not full length. So this one, okay, Saxon Sea Axe. Yeah. Laminated blade, staghorn handle, brass caps, and a leather sheath um, of the period. Very nice. It fits in there, okay. Nice one, that one. With the other, that way probably. Up a bit. That's oh, sorry. Yeah, that's yeah, that's nice, that one. Oh, I like that one. There we are. Well, that doesn't sell, I'll have that. Saxon CX. Uh, I think we've got another CX. Oh. Which he called a Saxon fighting CX. And CX, I think, is it S E A X? P A X, yeah. S A X. Well, you need to look up the meaning of it. Yeah. Well, Saxon CX, this one's quite a bit, a bit bigger. Uh, phone making noises. We've got a uh, pattern molded blade and it's based on the Northampton Sea Act. So they must have found one in Northampton. It's got a black oak handle with silver mounts. Ooh. It's pattern on oh, the Oh, that's end. nice. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we are. Uh, and presumably silver around joint between the blade. Oh, I see. Uh, 
and uh, the uh, sheath in tooled leather. Put a pattern on that one. Oh, yeah, I see now, yeah. So those fit in together. Yeah, that's another, yeah. So that. Yeah, the quality of the uh, leather alone, as you say. Yes. Well, that's right, it's all well. cop copper rivets along the, the top, holding it. Stitched. Yeah, and uh, that's the real deal, isn't it? That Riveted, yeah. Excellent. And the last one is this for any of our Scottish friends, which is a dirk. Ooh. Whoa. And this is... That's bigger. wow, that's bigger than Jesus. <laughs> bigger than my bigger, hair. Bigger than God. Which is big. <laughs> this one has got a 16 inch browned laminated blade. I don't know how it's been browned, but it's got a sort of a brown colour to it. Um, it's got a black buffalo uh, horn hilt with a nickel silver cap. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's the middle of the thing. Wow. Yeah. And obviously hand carved leather sheath with uh, thistles on it, which has been coloured. Oh, yeah. See all of it. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, so it's a nice uh, nice item, that. So that fits in there, like so. Wow. Perfect fit. And it's quite, uh, it's quite showy. That. Yeah, yeah, it's impressive, isn't it? Is that the lot? Uh, that, I'm afraid that's the end of it. Hooray! We did very well. Excellent. Good. Well, that's Good. showing everyone what we got. Uh, obviously, we've got lots of other things on our Christmas page. I will put the link to that below. And there's lots of other things on the website. Anyway, this is just a page that we put together with what we consider suitable things for Christmas, either giving to your partner or your archery loving person in the household, or maybe you just like to buy something for yourself so that Christmas day you aren't disappointed with the usual socks and everything else that, uh, that you get, or, or indeed silly Christmas hats or wigs. Uh, depending yes, on, uh, I've got one. This is uh, going on eBay very, very soon. Yes. As worn by, by, uh, Oh, jeez. <laughs> ah, well, yeah, there we are. So it's October, folks. Get buying. Uh, oh, it's Christmas. But no, no, it's October. It's not oh, actually right. okay. Christmas. This is, like Christmas. this is not, <laughs> not allowed out. It could be anyway, really. I know. This is it. This is why, why you lovely people out there have got to buy stuff now from businesses yes, like before, ours. Before we... Never seen again, yeah. yeah. Or, uh, out of metal or whatever yeah. it is. So it's, uh, it's, it's, um, yeah. But there yeah. Okay. So thank you very much for watching, folks. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you again soon. And uh, may we be the first to wish you a not quite nearly, almost not entirely nearly coming quite soon. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you near the time. Thanks again for watching. Check out the details, details, the details below and the details. <laughs> we'll see you soon. <laughs>